I don't know what the minimum wage is in London, that five pounds something, but what, that's not enough. I know that, for, not for London. Anyway, not for London, it's not enough. And on top of that, the minimum wage should apply to everybody. That should apply to everybody who works. I think you have to look at the fact that, you know, the younger generation in their early 20s are finding it very difficult to get on the property ladder. I don't see how I can possibly hope to buy my own house in present market conditions. You all hear in the news, fuel price going up, fuel price going up. The poor eventually won't be able to manage. My home is the least energy efficient place I've ever been to. There's gaping holes in the floorboards. There's uh, drafty windows. I have insulation, but God, I don't know when that was put in. Um, yellow spongy stuff. A centralised infrastructure for power delivery to homes is a thing of the past and people are going to have to produce their own power. It's all LARP, save money and it's reliable. You farm in your own, you all electricity all the time, you know. Don't... And maybe if they were subsidised so that they could actually afford to put solar panels on their roofs, then maybe there'd be a difference. A couple of shops that would have raised the profile of the street have now closed down. Well, there isn't really a local high street, is there, anymore? Most of them are being wiped out. We had a couple of local shops, they've closed down. We've now got a huge garage which sells everything. And that again comes down to the big, big supermarkets. I think it's really ridiculous if you have to get a train within England and it's the same price as you getting a plane to another country. That is a really big problem. It was something like 80 quid for a ticket to Manchester. And do you know, to fly out was less than that. It's called public transport. It should be handed back to the public. There's far too many private companies who are running it. There's a lot of traffic on the roads. There's enough road in this country. <coughs> Where I live, a lot of kids are getting knocked over all the time, right? Uh, yeah, I'm very conscious of the fact that people drive too fast. I can't complain, really, because I can't afford a car, so obviously I'm always on the public transport. And... I think we need to kind of look at the transport system as a kind of a critical need for everybody as opposed to just another service. Green values are common sense. They're fair, they're sustainable, and they've never been more important. Green London Assembly members are already making a massive difference, and now you have the chance to elect more Assembly members and a Green Mayor on May the 1st. I'm Sean Berry, Green candidate for Mayor of London. Vote Green and change London for good.